Yeah, yeah. If we want to look at the bigger sponge, you're right. Sure. Let's Can go ahead and wide, yeah, do that. Thank you, Lynette. Yeah, you're welcome. We're and there's to... actually a black coral on that rock, too. I mean, if we zoom in, even in places that look boring, you usually actually end up finding a ton of stuff. Looks like they're happy in this area for whatever reason. Looks like there is a strong current because we yeah. can yeah. see. Mm -hmm. There you uh, go. So that's a thing that you can note too. Like yeah, in this in the sediment you can see out how, how the. You can almost see the current moving the sideways. Current, yeah, mm -hmm. Thanks to the marine snow. Yeah. yeah. Flocculent material. So this looks like I'll type it in, but core. Mm -hmm. Corbatellini. So there's a question in the chat asking, B -A or B -I. is that the type of sponge that traps other animals inside? I think it might have been referring to one oh, of the sponges we saw. Yeah, the, so the like Rigadrella sponge we saw earlier yeah, is yeah. the kind where you, you look inside and you see a, like a, I think sometimes shrimp, squat lobster, some kind of, I'm not remembering right now, but um arthropod that grows inside of them. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. That's a yeah, cool. this is sponge. a cool sponge. Mm -hmm. Now I'm actually not yeah. sure that this is Corbatellini. Oh looks like lace. There's a Chrysogorgia. Yeah, there's a Chrysogorgia there. behind it. And there's smaller sponges or maybe tunicates actually at the base too. Mm -hmm. If we darker colored have a object. chance to zoom in, that would be cool. Give me one second. And in this, in this shot, we can see the the direction of the current because between the boat you can see that the sediment is more exposed in you can zoom the in as you, as proximal you wish. part. That's a really good observation. It's like a shadow behind the rock. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. And what did you guys say? That was, well, what's the little things that are around? Um, we got to get closer, would have to be closer to look at those small sponges. I think they're sponges actually on the bottom. Can we come wide, please? There is like a batipati there. Closer. Thank you. Looks like there is a small... We're going to start getting pulled away soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can get them time. to stop? You asked them to stop already, didn't you? Yeah. So, Atalanta will just keep swinging in toward the ship. Take lots of good pictures of the yeah. sponge. So, if you even can. when we stop, Atalanta is right. still going to move. Yeah. Trevor was saying six minutes or so before it. Oh. Uh, uh, somewhere oh. in between. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, beautiful. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, can f so if you pay attention oh, in the laser, yeah, no, it's 10 centimeters. Good. So this is a really big, big sponge. sponge. It I'm is. I'm sitting on something. It's gorgeous. It so probably nicely. is what, a meter or so? Yeah, something like that. Oops. Yeah, and you could see all that marine snow swirling around it too. Yeah. Atlanta would calm down. You could see that it's as almost as tall as her. So beautiful. Sorry guys, try to get you a better picture, um, stable picture here. Come on, come on something. Those are nice. Those are. Interesting little little sponges I think next we have to, to it too. Go. Yes, Atalanta they are. Doesn't look like close to some stuff here. Okay, yeah. Atlanta's in shallow. That's water good if we have to keep yeah, moving. Okay. All right. And I'm still trying to figure out exactly which one that is. looking one. So, Haisa, Sorry, you had mentioned here. those kind of sediment shadows where you can see there's a lot of sediment on one side and kind of more of a higher size rocks on the other side. So, what that would indicate would be that oh, this is anemone. mostly a unidirectional unidir current in this site. Well, I think sometimes uh, the current depends can uh, change directions, uh, depends on the season or there is different okay, factors yeah, so that can influence. Me. I'm not, I don't, I'm right not sure me. in this area yes. yeah, yeah. 
Ho how I'm, I'm is the dynamic? The yeah, yeah. Well, we got for good sure, separation. In, in some parts, yeah, you yeah. can see the direction. I'm just letting you know. Yeah. So, so okay, like here in that part I'm where we see down. that shape behind, and you can see the rips, you know, um, of the. So this can be the intensity and the direction of the current. Yeah, I would love to get some longer term data down here to see what was going on because if it was something like a unidirectional current that would mean that one side of these rocks would be really primo for certain species and you might see different assemblages on one side and it could also just be a factor of the very specific features around an area because sometimes you have these swales and these bathymetry features that can actually force a current just through one narrow part of a site so that that should be something. That's the kind of stuff I love. <laughs> no, it'd be super interesting to to see. Yeah. It seemed like on that last rock, it was the top of it that was. Well, yes, the that's primo spot for sure. Where all the stuff is coming through. Yeah. Bridge. There's now. something down to the left there. I yeah, I think we're trying to catch side. up right now. Yeah, yeah. we Maybe are. Did you already but note the change? But we are definitely standby. seeing quite a bit more bio than we were earlier. Yeah. Okay. We have time now if you want to look at something. Okay. There's um, actually lots of Chrysogorgias. Uh, yeah, that we've, we're seeing a lot of that one Chrysogorgia we collected, which is mm -hmm. pretty cool. We Probably. just passed over some stuff that was behind us, but we can keep going ahead um, if we're not at the end of our tether. And See what's in front. Sure. Are you all seeing differences? Don't in the hesitate to here? tell me to stop or sure. move closer or you know. Will do. Thanks, James. Whatever you guys need. Um, I almost want to poke these rocks. I know. I'm they kind of tempted too. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to be all consolidated, but uh, if if we see one that l looks like it's feigning looseness, maybe let's uh, give it a poke. Uh, Feigning loosening. Some of these, <laughs> some of these look okay. Like any of these smaller ones there, or there, that seem isolated. I don't think that we're gonna be able to pick them up, but who knows? All right. Give me a if there's here. a spot where you could see being able to Sit lower, down, yeah. yeah. Bridge now. Can we have three zero meters south, please? Um, did you have any luck, Tim, with Thank the still you. cam by chance? Huh? Talking to Tim. Oh. <laughs> he, made a, he made a note somewhere in the data log about it. No, no word from still cam. No word from still cam, but you're seeing what I'm talking about, right? Uh, affirmative. Okay, thank you. It looks like there are also a lot of dead sponge stalks here, both like the long straight stalks of um, of like Volosoma and Colophagus sponges and also those kind of backbony looking stalks, which is interesting. And I wonder if we're gonna come across some more sponges soon. Yeah, this all looks pretty cemented, but maybe let's yeah. just for, let's, you know, we'll just poke it just to see that and that <laughs> or something. I'm just looking at that one. Sure. I think I agree with you. It was kind yeah. of cemented in. But we have to appease the geologists and let them know we tried. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here, let's... Uh, yeah, I know you don't want to smash dry globs. Yeah, definitely not. There isn't really a nice place to sit here. Okay, cool. Then we can continue. <laughs> oh, no. We did no. try. Oh, we did no. try very oh, hard. We tried. Uh, Oh man, oh shucks. As soon as I see a spot. Okay, yes. I haven't Feel forgotten free to call about it out. geologists. Michael, could you uh, power cycle a tripops again for me when um, you get a chance? I'm assuming that was, that was Tim. You know, I'm assuming that he said the power cycle or something. Uh, yes and yes. <laughs> could we? Can we zoom on that little white thing at the lower end of the frame right now? It might just be the base. It's uh, this. It might just be the base of a stock, yeah. but. Yeah, so, there we go. Just real. Up is down and down is up, and I'm still getting used to that. Oh, that's all good. There we go. It's 
See, like even here, that's like a dead sponge something. We don't have to look at it, oh, just pointing so it out. Sure. Like acorn worm, worm down there. Yeah, I was going to say, is it dead? Yoda. Yeah. They saw a lot of acorn worms earlier tonight. Too. Yeah. So, I forgot what Steph was calling it, like acorn, acorn worm town or something. <laughs> she had a little name for it. This little bathopathy's black coral. Triclops is back up. If it's too hard, James, it's it's no, not no. a. I'm just getting uh, used to it. That's it. all. An important thing. Thank you. You can zoom in there if you'd like. We're looking at that. I think it's just the base of what used to be a sponge or something, yeah. but. Could we iris down just a tad? Thank you. Uh, a little more, maybe. Yeah, dead dead base of something, and lots of dead sponge remnants all over here. There, there too. Oh Not yeah. Left there, yeah. Yeah, that looks like a dead ferraid. Cool. We can uh, zoom out. Thank you. Okay, continuing on. Oh, spelled that one wrong, sorry. <laughs> Definitely changing some of the rock formations that we're seeing right now. Yeah. Wow, look at that. It's beautiful. This looks like some kind of a flow feature, yeah. mm -hmm. which the geologists would love to have a sample near, probably. It does look like there are bigger sheets. Yeah, pieces. it's like even harder to sample. Oh, yeah, <laughs> these are that none up. of these look <laughs> sampleable. Is that something red right there in the middle? Do you see that? Red, like oh yeah, right oh, there. Yeah. there. Like a little, look our, look our, um, are you looking for a shrimp? resident shrimp? <laughs> yeah. Look at how Pedro. much dead sponge material there is. Oh yeah, there is something. It's is it, is right it there. What are you? I'm determined to get. The we 20 must shrimp. know. <laughs> Are you a teeny tiny hemichorallium or maybe a mushroom coral? I want to zoom in there. It's not moving. Yes, please. Or it's a mushroom coral. Oh, yeah. With a, uh, nope. A tiny mushroom coral, very cute. And you can see that the polyps very standard. Kind yeah. Of framed with the tentacles, possibly. Yeah, it's kind of cool to see that on mushroom corals. Like every single little That's awesome. polyp that you see on all of the other corals is just smaller versions of similar structures. But Can mushroom corals out, have please? these really big, nice ones. And it looks like there's a stolen ephraim maybe next to it also. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to try grabbing a rock. Go for it. I'm asking you if you'd this like This all to. looks pretty pretty big, no? Well, I could try, I guess. It's, uh, hard to, it's hard to say. I think these look pretty big. Okay. But if we, if there's no, any... No, no, there's just a, a spot where I could, like, oh, right now I'm down. resting uh, on the rock. Maybe, yeah. What about those so ones I in the center, we might center try, of the screen there? Just those little tiny ones. Tiny ones in the are center. The, are those just too small to sample on them? Um, are you talking about, like, these yeah. ones? Yeah, those are really small. Yeah. Um... I'd say that all looks pretty cemented or large. Okay, let's move on. We'll fight. But we'll thank you for I'm thinking. I'm sure there'll a bit. be another spot. And we never see spotted rocks again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I absolutely guarantee it. Oh, oh look, a fish. What's that? Could we uh, zoom on that fish? Yes, we can. Are we sure it's we a fish? can't collect it, but we can get good footage. Hear them. Is that a. Uh, maybe a. A uh, halosaur. What's that fish? Oh, he's getting close. Yeah. It's 
like doing a little sideways move. Yeah. I think I got oh, it. He's that like was right good. over the, yeah, just like in the vehicle <gasps> now. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> so I have to say, some of those dead sponges kind of look like bones. It's very eerie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really look like like, like rib cages and spines. Yeah. Oh, there's a long stalk. Oh my gosh, you guys! It's a it's a um a Chrysogorgia. Chrysogorgia bella, maybe. Yeah, Aridogorgia bella. Oh, yeah, I think it's not Magnus Baralis. I think it's Bella. Bella. One thing interesting is to see the texture so of this the, is beautiful. the rocks. Mm -hmm. um, and we can add in. I'm going to wait for a good picture for Aridogorgia. it. Aridogorgia. I think I already. Bella is the. That's the species? Mm hmm. Let me know when you guys have had your fill. I gotta catch the ship soon. Okay. That's good there. All right. Um, oh. You're so close with Halosaur. It's. <laughs> Well, if there's something oh, you really want to see, you're not, it's totally fine. I'm oh, sorry. It's doing the dinosaur spelling. You're doing yeah. great. There was, it did look like there was something down on the bottom. What is that right there? It looks like bones. It does look like yeah. bones. That's an Aspidoscopulia ferreid sponge that is oh. dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> but Another one back, to, back to the statement that they look like bones. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so now that we're seeing the zoom in the rocks, this. The texture on all of them okay, is very similar, the ship, so I'm gonna go and it's that. quite. Um, I was wondering if other type of creature creatures can. Yeah, so you just need a zoom. Okay. Use this. Um, it's just habitat that you're, well, after you're rejoining to like this texture to. Anchor better or something. Yeah. Not curl, probably be smaller. I was wonder if you scrape this. Zoom on that, please. The little white guy. Yeah, it's a stocked sponge. Um, looks kind of like a baby sacco calyx. Nah. There is another stalk. Here. Yeah. That's a, I think a dead one mm -hmm. of something. You can zoom on. This. You can zoom away if you'd like. And for those that are just joining us, we're at yeah. 2,090 so. meters on an Sack unnamed seamount Johnston S hole. Sponge. There's too much sediment in that picture I took. Yeah, that's okay. We can wait for it wait to. Wait for a moment. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a, a worm. Mm -hmm. Got kicked up, maybe, I think. Is that deliberate? Is that what? It's on the... Um, we can pick up if... Uh, there we do. Okay. So let's go back to, yeah, go back to the ship. It's really not wanting to. Oh, and uh, let's see can note that we there. recently passed waypoint three about oh. 50 meters ago or something. So this change kind of seemed to happen, I guess, as we started to get out of this like more trophy bit and into going upward, and it is gonna be steeper now, I believe, for a bit. Gosh, so many dead sponges, and it's hard to tell how long they've been dead here for, how quickly they dis disintegrate. 
maybe they've been here for a long time. Things don't usually degrade, or things some things don't degrade as fast in the deep sea as in shallower waters. Very few live corals too, or live sponges rather. Yeah. Sometimes when you're on a slope and you see all those dead sponge stalks, then like you have the best sponges waiting for you higher up and that's just what's tumbled down. But this seems like stuff that kind of died in place, some of those stalks. Um, is any of this rock that we feel like we could try to pick up? If you need a second to position, that's fine. Yeah, unfortunately. That's all good. If we come across any of those... It's always when it's inconvenient, right? Yeah, Not that's okay. <laughs> any of those crumblier sections of this flow later on, that'd be awesome to try. Passing another small sponge of some kind. Is that pink or white? I can't tell. I think it's white. white. So the stocked sponge? Yep, so, looks yeah. like a small stocked sponge. Oh, we could certainly get it back. Here we go. So at the moment we are around 2,000 meters depth, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yep. Another Rigadrella and a, an anemone. Oh, yeah. Actinostolid anemone. Let me see if I can spell that. I'm gonna ask you before. You got it. Actinostolid. Actinostolid. Let me double check. Yes, actinostol. Yes, maybe technically actinostoloid. Why not? Yeah, it seems there's some over to the left too. Yeah, let's sit down here for a sec. Maybe we can grab a rock. Yeah. This area right here seems flowy. Um, what about that one like to the right? This is probably cemented here. Um, I don't know if maybe some of those. No, that looks cemented too, honestly. Where's the poke? You know, we're here. <laughs> Do the sponges and anemones use similar um, ways of attaching or adhering to the rocks? Hmm. I guess I don't know a ton about how anemones attach. Do you, Jane? Uh, perhaps with a muscular peduncle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I with think d these would be for the sea pens. Yeah. Yeah, much in the same way with a coral would, I suppose. The hold fast. Yeah. With the sponges, it's usually threads. Um, I don't know if those are silicious or or chitinous. I think they're probably silicious threads. That sponge is very beautiful too. It and is also very tall. Yeah, I it like is. that. Get a picture of that. I always think they look like um, scaffolding or something. Like really beautiful structural yeah. scaffolding. So these are all glass sponges or hexactinellid sponges, and it's the hex is because they're spicules, which is their uh, silicious, hard skeleton parts. Um, those are six rayed and often fused together, and so that's where it gets the hex and hexactinellid is from the six rayed spicules that make up their skeletons. So for the anemones, um, they have a basal disc and they use this basal disc to attach. When they find a suitable place to attach, they have a mucus, so they produce a mucus where they will be 
I don't know if any of that or any of the smaller stuff. I'm just over seeing here. if it would move. But yeah, I think it's all cemented right in front of us, but. So the mucus kind of helps adhere it. Yeah. It acts like a glue or something. Oh, that's oh, actually it's moving. moving. Surprisingly. Is it big enough? Uh, it's probably not ideal. But that is encouraging. It means that other spots here that we could poke for bigger rocks might be actually loose. Oh, what's about? Is yeah, that, that one, one loose? Nice. Yeah, just curious. No. Okay. Well, good. Then <clears throat> if we saw another one of those spots where it looks like it's kind of cracked open, the sheet flow has cracked open, that would be a great place to stop. That was a great second attempt, though. I liked that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's a good view there. Sorry? Yeah, Leila, it looks like similar thoughts here on the chat. All oh, the dead stalks, are there any live ones? St seems strange that there wouldn't be right there, but... It's interesting because we're seeing... I haven't seen a single living one of what we've seen a ton of dead ones of. Mm. So I'm curious if we'll come across that or if, for some reason, the conditions used to be favorable for that kind of sponge and now they no longer are. Yeah. And that's been like a long, longer term shift. And there's a reason we're seeing so many that have died. I don't know. Very interesting. Another interesting thing about the, the anemone is the way they attach it is because even though it's very strong and they can cope with the environmental currents and, and things, and they are able to disattach and find suitable uh, yeah. place to attach again. It's like, I don't like that rock anymore. I'm going to go find another one. And there are even some swimming anemones, right? Anemones that more regularly will pick up and move, aren't there? I believe we've seen some of those. Just get up and move. <laughs> like we've gotten to a steeper relief yeah. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there, are steep. there any rocks no, over here? Up. I don't know if we have the latitude to get over there, but um, any loose ones in this kind of like pile over here? Over there. Mm. Oh, another stock. really long one of those chrysogorgids, whatever it is. They're reaching out for something. Yeah, that's, that's a really long one. I have never seen one like that. Hey, Michael, could you power cycle try clocks again for me? Doesn't Copy. look like there's anything loose. Where Is are you thinking? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I was looking under the lasers, but it does all look cemented too. I don't know if maybe. I, I don't think you'd be able to sit set down around there, but. Maybe some of that. Yeah, like if that right under the lasers was loose, that'd be cool, but I don't think it is, but we could try it. It's like a cliff or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's very close. It's hard to sit anywhere here. Can, can okay. you come straight up? 
That's all right. Yeah. I don't like it's like there's no interesting rocks until it's t until it's steep and it's like then really and then close. it's too steep to collect them. <laughs> and it's not making sense to me. Sorry, Mike. Say that again. Nothing. Oh, you're you're making me worried. What are you thinking? Well, it's just like uh, all my sonar is kind of close. Those are twenty meter divisions, right? Yeah. Okay. And they keep getting closer but it's also not making sense to me position wise. Uh. So I just, uh, just to be safe. Is it just because we're so low down right now? No, but, but you're high up. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> it makes no sense. Yeah, is there some kind of a wall in front of us? I don't know. And there's so many little sponges here. So this is all the stalks. Yeah, there are more stocks there. So, um, the way sponges can can also attach to the substrate depends on the species. And uh, the one that has the stalk, they have these to get a better position in the water column where they can filter better. And the other ones that we, s we saw, like that is more a cup, they, they sometimes they, they do similar the anemones. They can uh, release mucus to attach and they, they produce a special kind of um, sclerites as well that they can be uh, more attached. But depends of the species can be different mechanism that they, that you use. Thank you for that explanation. It's interesting. All the notes you're taking are great. Thank you. This is a pretty good slope. Yeah. Looks like maybe some of those rocks might be loose. Yeah. I feel like Bear grills his cameraman. Well, I can I can try to hold it still while Mike here uses the arm and grabs one. As long as you're in front of me, um, as long as Herker's in front of Ann Lana, I am down. Um. Options are either like maybe these rocks over there or something higher up there, depending on what you're more comfortable with. It's almost like you have little air, like channels of different sized yeah. rocks. Yes, yeah, so we can. What's that flat rock there? The awesome. white one? Uh, no, no. It's kind of like just left of the lasers. It's almost like, um, like a plate. Yeah, it looks like it's almost, I think it's just uh, the way that the sediment is on oh, that okay. float sheet. Maybe it's slightly elevated right there or something. We'll find a happy spot. Yeah, there's a... Ah, yeah, there's an ophiride. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Looks like there's also like a big dead Lefroyella sponge or something ahead of us. Not as many fish over here as there were okay, Mike. earlier in the dive oh, either. Yeah. Don't think it's gonna stay here. We can um Yeah, if you just look at me. Oh look at the arm, I'll give it a whirl. Uh yeah. Let's see, what do we have in front of us? That looks cemented. Do you want to try to hop forward a little bit? It looks like well, yeah, like there's more a little further back. Up, up ahead. I would agree with that. You need to move. I'm not. I'm not seeing anything here that looks um, loose and large enough. Yeah, I'm gonna move. Thank you. That's what I wanted to I see. I got you. I got you. Yeah, 
Let's give it a little hop. Ah, uh, I hate this. All right. What about in here? That also looks all cemented in. Yeah, it could be worth like trying that one maybe, or yeah, I don't know if any of either of those is loose. That's probably a bit far for the arm. This one though. Yeah, that one looks cemented, but worth a try. Which one? Which one? Uh, like this here or there or there. I don't know. Try to get it to sit here happily. All right, go for it. I'm not a big fan of this arm configuration on the <laughs> on the thing right here, but that I'll make do. Let's see what we got. All right, coming on. Roger, I'll try to follow you with this. Uh, yeah, let me know when you got eyes on it. I feel like we're all holding our breath. <laughs> yeah. Do me a favor, can you follow me on the bubble too? Yes, absolutely. Every it's inverted, so. Every time I can know how to do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Almost, we almost had it. <laughs> oh, this is like fine, silty. Yeah. If you are just now joining us, we are diving on a small unnamed guillot north of Johnston Atoll at 2,048 meters. And we are. I don't like the way these grips are done. Doing the best we can to take some samples of the rocks that we have in front of us. Big fish. That's a really big one. Oh, yeah. As soon as I said there weren't as many fish up here. I know. <laughs> I was like, um, hello. He was like, what's going on with that rock over there? Did anyone happen to see what kind of fish it was? No, he went away didn't get a good look at the head. Oh, there we go. Okay. Cool. Um, which can, box would you can like? Can we take a look at that? Um, yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. Sweet. You can zoom in if you want for a little bit. Yeah, some zoom and spin action in oh, a get moment. Get some lights on there, you know. Yeah. Do it up with those sample photos. It's oh yeah. Than 10 centimeters. It is. It's a good size. It's like 15 centimeters. 15, yeah. I don't like. Uh, we don't see the orange alturation. I don't like that. The if you want, I can take pictures while you write stuff. There's a way to change. I, think it. I, took I just a don't know what. As don't they rotate it, I'll, I'll just grab them. Okay. Sounds good. So it's like all the way is all the way. Um, is that just sediment hanging off of it in the front? Are we good with yeah. that? Yeah. Would you mind giving it a, a slow spin? Yeah. Wrist wrist spin. Yeah, I think it's pretty beautiful <laughs> color for five ninety five. Oh, I'm holding on <laughs> two fingers. Okay, that's so great. Five. It can it can go starboard. I think you wanted to go starboard. Is there anything already in starboard? Yes, 
Jane will let you know in one moment. What's in it? Jane will let you know in one moment. <laughs> <laughs> Can you zoom out, please? All right, we have Biobox E has a rock in it. Otherwise, pretty free. The other starboard so Bioboxes are free. So A, one B, of the C, D, or F. Okay. Yeah, one of the A through Ds. I think it looks small enough. Uh, you want to follow? See if I can get it. So let's see the description you've got so far. Uh, it shows me back I was say it was some sunset. sediment. Yep. Um, not really sure. Yeah, so I just Describing like rocks otherwise is not really my expertise. Is it possible to twist Hercules' arm too much in one direction? Like, if you keep twisting it, does it get stuck? It can get stuck, yeah. Yeah. Gonna go to sample. You ready? Okay, okay, so now uh, let me. Uh, uh, what we need to do is open the box. Um, uh, I heard hydraulics. Okay. What box number again? If you, you could put it in like A or any of those smaller ones that you can reach, that would be great. Any A through D should be fine. Oh, so the back one's okay. Because mm. we have other samples in between. Cool, small. See, I don't like the way this is set up. Anybody watching at home, if you click on the quad in the notalislive.org nice. site, you can see you as you the and different boxes that we are going to end up putting those it. rock samples that we just took. Um, wherever works, as long as it's not E or F. Oh, I just realized something. Dang it. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. C. C. Uh, hold on oh. a second. This is what I don't like. <laughs> oh, you'd be stuck in there? It's a little tight there. Okay. So starboard by box C. Yep, exactly. And then right, right just on the Herc diagram. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, you can also hit submit there. <sighs> it's because this thing is locked and I can't. This right here, because they like doing this. Yay, we got a good rock for the Yay. geologist. Good job, right. everybody. You want to try getting it out? You want to try getting it out? Because I'm like, I lost the plot. And I don't like, I can't deal with that. I don't know how they do it.
And so then I think that's we have a question here go. in the yeah. chat. Oh my goodness. And this was this was probably from a little bit ago, but um, are we taking water samples to define why the type of sponges have died? And this is from Scotland. A question from Scotland. Oh, cool. Um, we are taking water samples, but not with that goal. Um, we are mostly taking water samples to be analyzed by scientists at the Northwest Fisheries Science Center, who are specifically interested in octocoral communities um, and in, in, in trying to measure with whatever sloughs off into the water column, um, trying to see if we can determine what kinds of octocorals there are in these habitats without actually having to sample each one of those corals themselves, but just from um, whatever they shed into the water. So we're mostly doing it near those kind of like coral garden-y areas that Haisa was mentioning. Um, and then we also have another researcher who is interested in um, sampling of dissolved inorganic carbon or the various forms of um, carbon that are important to reef building corals, mm. um, carbonate specifically. And so we're taking some water samples for her as well whenever we're near um, hard corals. Was the first process you described kind of like an eDNA or is that more just? Yep, eDNA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. eDNA, but targeted, like environmental DNA, and that it's everything you can get from the water, except um, it's targeted because you're looking at ev all the octocorals that you can get from whatever is in the water, but not every everything. So um, it would be awesome. There are tons of questions that can be asked about sponges, but um, this specific researcher is looking at corals, so our water samples are focused around that. All right, team. Um, if we're happy here, I'm going to continue on. Yeah. yeah, let's go for it. I saw Jane got out the marker. I thought she was going to give us another shrimp count, but we seem to done. have stagnated on the yeah. shrimp. I think we might be I think we might be done. Mike, can we get the bubble cam back to the um, looking at the triclops? I kind of figured that. I was just uh, four for four. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder if we can see that fish that we saw a minute ago. A sponge? Yeah. That one looks living. Or at least the bottom of it. It looks like maybe there's some bits that are accumulating sediment now. But there is something on top of it. Um, yeah. Um so this is maybe Tritopleura. Oops. Oh, that's the craft. Yes. Yeah, um, that's uh, and that's an acceptable level. Um, yeah, thank you, Mike. Double check. It looks like it might have something on the right hand side of it. You can zoom in on that if you'd like. Yes, please. Looks like it's full of sand. Yeah, for some reason one oh. side is kind of sedimented or something. And there's a crinoid on it. Oh, yeah. Oh. So, yeah, this is Tretopleura. Um, T R E T O. Uh, T E O. P L E U R A. Yep. With crinoid friend. That's great.
can zoom out. All right, continuing on. Some altitude, give this guy some space. Thank you for being on top of that. I'd love to see the zoomed out view without Atlanta. Yeah. With Herc in the foreground, that's really oh, cool. Oh wow, it's beautiful. <coughs> Just makes you realize. Could we zoom on that coral please? How Is that vast a black coral? the amount of rocks there I are. don't think so. weird little branching. You can zoom in if you'd like. Hmm. Oh, there's a small crab on the bottom left. Oh yeah, there's a squat yeah, lobster. Squat lobster. Oh. Smallest spot lost forever. Um, Paolo, are we all the way in on the zoom? Yeah, we can almost hear our friend pa Pablo Thanks. celebrating. She's <laughs> <laughs> not up here. Uh, oh, I don't, yeah. don't know another uh, another chrysogorgid like of yes, some kind. Like what were you going to say? But I don't see any bamboo stripes. I don't know. Yeah, but sometimes, but it's quite thick. Yeah. Uh, hold fast Fleshy. There. Yeah, They're yeah. fleshy polyps. Yeah. They're not as delicate as Chrysocorgia, right? Maybe some kind of bamboo where we just aren't seeing the stalk or the, the the stripes. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. What's that uh, second from the bottom? What, what gauge is that? On the uh, on the right side, second from the bottom, is that motor? It's main. Is it, what does it say? Two and a half. What's water temperature? It's probably like thirty. What's the water temperature? Like two degrees Celsius or something? Do we have that? HPU temp forty two. Oh, that's really low. Or it's running. Okay, no, it's fine. Thinking out loud, we're good. So with a variety of objectives in this ROV dive, we're definitely focusing on this one of sampling the diversity and distribution of, of the deep sea benthic communities. So particularly those found with coral and sponge habitats. This dive, um, this watch we have seen a lot of different sponge and coral communities here. Are they necessarily different species that we've seen though, or just kind of the same species of what? The corals and the sponges that we've seen. We've been seeing a lot of different species of, um, of corals and sponges. I think we've seen... I miss that uh, triclops. Anything view. that Is looks that like remotely a different shape anymore? so far has been different uh, species, except for we saw a couple of those Rigadrello ones. Those were the same. Yeah. Well, but also, who, who's to know? You know, yeah. if that's at the species level, if they're the same, uh, that's, that can be really hard to tell from just looking at something. Speaking of, Mike, uh, is Triclops powered on? And if not, can it be? Mm. This looks fairly consolidated here oh, now. Nice, uh, Perfect, thank something. you.
Well, it looks like we have another sponge. Another one out. of those sponges that I didn't quite figure out or remember what kind that was. Got to go back to the, the drawing board. You can zoom in on that if you'd like. Yeah, I think this looks really similar to the first one we saw tonight. Yeah, I think some kind of septulifora, but I, I don't know what kind. Wow, that's, that's so cool. Pretty. Yeah, some Beautiful. good pictures of this would be great. Um, do we have a second here to collect potentially? Yeah. Yeah, we got lots of seconds. Cool. If we could take just a snip off uh, off the top of this, that would be awesome. Okay. Can we come wide, please? Oh, actually, looking at it from the top, it looks not like what I thought it was. It looks more like the Rigadrella, but with weird protrusions. Sit down. That looks like the first one we saw, right? I don't know if we just didn't get this angle on that first one. I think it looks a lot like the first one we saw. Let me see if I can find the photo of the first one we can compare. Yeah. It's 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 definitely a euplectelid actually, but um it's kind of an interesting the like the fan projections on the outside are, look different. Right. Um, you can also just drop the chunk in the in the forward bio. We sure. don't want to take too much. Um, I don't know if there's a way to just tear tear a section off the top. Um, I think that's a bit too much. A bit too much, yeah. All right, you let me know. If you think it's good, then I'll snip. Do we have? Um, oh trick. yeah, yeah, that's helpful. Uh, like even just tearing a chunk off of this, I don't, I can't tell quite what the angle is, but we really don't need a ton of it. Yeah, like that could be good. Okay, nice and slow, here we go. Ooh. Oh, I don't think it's, uh, yeah, it fell out. Let's try that again. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Everybody oh, remain calm. Like wow, it is very flexible. So it's not what I, I was expecting right off of this. <laughs> I thought it was going to be more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bounce right back. Yeah. I want to 
Oh, do you like that sponge? Mm -hmm. um, okay, Sorry, so it's just, not, um, or maybe it is Rigatrella, but some kind of Euplectelid sponge. Okay. sitting here so nicely and then it just decided to move all by itself. <laughs> Why you do that, Herc? Mind of its own. Wow, just like that, we're already oh, more than halfway into this shift. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm glad it went fast for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was earlier, I was like, only 1 a.m., my God. Time flies when you're having fun with sea sponges. <laughs> it's going the other way. Let's see if we can maybe just hop a little bit somewhere else. Just doesn't want to sit nicely, you know? somewhere that's not pitched on a rock. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to actually move. This is not working. Let's go this way. Hmm. It's not an easy spot to sit. I was trying to see from the top to see if there is the same pattern. Mm. Might have to go over there. Mm. Oh yeah. And that one had had a crinoid, or yeah, no? And this one. All right, here we go. Another try. A little uh, less. I know you're still trying to situate. How's that? Uh, like a tiny, because it's going to clip from the bottom of the, right? Yeah. Um, so a little bit less than that. That could be good. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that would be perfect. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Awesome job. Um, yeah, okay. I guess forward. forward. Yeah, this, I don't know if this is going to float away or not. So. You think slurp? 
We could try. It looks like kind of a big chunk. Do you think it would slurp? I think it'll slurp. Okay. Uh, we have one thing in slurp okay. jar one, um, but we could try to slurp into two. Carousel. Where is that camera? There we go. Yep. Ready? Okay, let me know when you're you know when you're happy. Where are you gonna put it? Fair enough. What was that? You can also do a bio box if it's... Uh, wide? Yeah. Uh, it is kind of a cross section. I'm having trouble. So I don't know if we have... Do we have the lasers on it at some point? I'd we say 10 did, centimeters yeah. is pretty, pretty good guess. That looks like jar movement, yeah. Number two. I don't see what they collected in one. What was that? Ready? Squat lobster. Yeah. Squat lobster must have been really small. <laughs> yeah, they said it was very small. Make sure you got the start start time. Yep. Yeah. What percent are you at right now? You happy? Okay. What percent are you at right now, um, Michael? Okay, cool. Yeah, I think let's go easy at first and we'll blend it. Four. Slurp four. Uh, it's in two. Two. Is it, uh, is it second? Okay, I'm gonna take it off, grip block. go. Uh, right. no. I think it's kind of big, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do a buy box. Yep. Let's just right. put it in with the Chrysogorgia, uh, then on the, in Lambda. Lambda forward. Glad we didn't lose it. Yeah. yeah. Good catch. And if you're just tuning in from home, we are diving on a small unnamed geo in north of Johnston Atoll yep. at 2,031 meters, taking a sample of a sea sponge 
and um, working on putting that small sample that we just took off the top into one of the boxes for sampling. Leila, what, do, what will you all do with the sample? Um, the sample will get subsampled. So we'll take a small, just a Hello. small chunk. Oh, oh, no, oh go okay. in. I can still get it. One moment. Uh, oh, wow. You breathe. Wow. <laughs> I'm holding my breath. It was intentional. Oh <laughs> my god. Sink. Sink. <laughs> Huzzah. Wow. wow. Yay. <laughs> it worked out. Nice. <laughs> Was, was that visible on the side? So many near misses there. Just That's like I planned it. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Did that in fact end up in Lambda or was it in Omega? It's in Lambda. Okay. Um, so you can hit submit over there. Uh, we're going to take a little sub snip of it and that's going to get um, preserved in 95% ethanol so that it can be used for genetic analyses. Um, and then the rest of it will probably actually also go in ethanol uh, in 95% for now, but both of those things will get sent to the MCZ, which is the Museum of Comparative Zoology at Harvard, uh, and that's our sample repository for biological samples. And then from there, folks who are interested can uh, request that sample so that they can work on it. Um, and there they might change it out into some another preservative, like 70% ethanol, um, for the, for the major part, and then the DNA-specific subsample will always be in 95% ethanol. And so that preservation is so that other people can, can yeah. take pieces of the sample. So that other interested scientists can access it. Speaking of other interested scientists, mm -hmm. we got a request from uh, one of our um, shore scientists to take a look at black corals that have could have polychaetes on them, FYI. Yeah, we're doing this. Okay, I'll just read it out loud. Um, when we pass by certain black corals that could have polychaetes, um, can we zoom in on the front of the colony's stem to see if we can spot the worms? And so they're doing an association project uh, to see what drives genus level associations between black corals and these worms. Um, and, and it's important to know where the worms were on the coral before they were collected. So we will keep an eye out for that. Also, thank you to all of the assistance with some of the um, species identifications. It's been very helpful. Thank you, guys. Oh, it looks like we have something. Oh, uh, wow. a sacrocalyx sponge. You guys could be making up names. I would have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> They, that's what they do. They just make up names, but then they publish a paper on it, and it becomes legit. Yeah. That's true. All words are made up. <laughs> the last watch was talking about the naming process. It's very interesting. Oh. I guess it helps if I'm actually on SPL, if I want to converse with people on SPL. <laughs> What are we Were looking you just at talking to the right? yourself up there? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> mm, riveting conversation, huh? What were you saying? I'm curious. <laughs> it's a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to go back. We got a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. good on that zoom there. That's beautiful. All right, it all started yeah, you with... You can zoom in there if you like. <laughs> Please. <laughs> sure, yeah. We could go a little further. Why not? As far back as I can remember. So oh, get I love more it. Into frame. It almost looks like a balloon. Like a really weird lumpy balloon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, get in there. That's kind of cool. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're inside of it almost. Is this like an electron microscope or something? 
Yeah. Zoom right in. One of those probe microscopes. That's like I think I got some good probes. <laughs> like yeah, like super far in on this. Unnecessarily. Going, going. And then closer. you see like a mini herc. Oh, yeah, we are really close to it. It's bigger. It's bigger. Than I was, yeah. yep. <laughs> oh, that's not bigger than I thought. We want this one. Wow. 10 centimeters. See if you can get it in front of the camera. There's so many different like pathways in there, different holes and channels. Oh, yeah, it's too uh, tall. I wish still cam was working. I hope that I hope that uh, yeah, we get some of these shots in triclops. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that rock. On it. I'm working on it. <laughs> Come on, triclops. There was something else to the right. Is that a Coral or another sponge stock? Whoops, that was wrong. On the right. FX survey. Da, 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 on the left. Da, da. Um, that looks. That's hard to tell. That looks it cool. looks kind of coral y. On the triclops? Looks like on, a on, the main, on the main clops? The, the main bamboo? Clops. Is that dead? No, more dead. <laughs> Sorry, are you guys looking at the one on the right? You guys talk to sponge. I think they're looking at that stock, or yeah, we were looking yeah. at that Sorry, stock. I was looking there. at the triclops thing. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, that looks like a big stock of a sponge a that is also oh, not so allowed oh, anymore. Here, yeah. You guys are looking at sticks. Are you all talking about the top right? Well, this is yeah. This well, will. Now I've now shifted that. to that, <laughs> yeah. but I think that that's a dead stock. But we can. Uh, Look at it. Looks like we've got some things Sorry, which living one? on it now. The big one? Yeah, could we just zoom just on what's uh, living on the dead stock? Whatever was alive on that was very big. Yeah, we haven't seen any of those yet, the Bolosoma or Colophagus. Yeah. But uh, we will. I'm excited. It's big. Oh, there's something encrusting on the bottom. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about what's on top. <laughs> yeah, what are those little polyps? It's oh, it's actually it's like a sheet over the whole thing. You know? You see like the end of it on the bottom? Oh yeah, so oh, weird. What is it? I don't see any polyps out. They can be contracted. Yeah, they're all contracted polyps. Mm -hmm. Something has encrusted the whole top of this. That's super cool. Man, to think we found a giant one of those. <laughs> a giant polyp. Oops. Oh yeah, I get oh, you can the see end it. there. You can see it, uh, kind of dying on that. Very cool how much can live on a dead stock. I don't know if those are little hydroids or something. Or bryzoans. Something tiny. Yeah. This is completely unrelated. But is it just me, or does it look like there's a face on the aft deck? Oh, you yeah. <laughs> we were talking about yeah, that earlier. Yeah, that is okay. intentional. <laughs> Come oh, on, Michael. Yes, it's a I derpy little smile. <laughs> <laughs> That's the it. TJ and Mike special. What's that <laughs> kind of wrinkly looking mm. yeah, rock? It looks like another dead sponge, maybe. But where's a poke? Ooh. It's actually pretty oh, chunky. What is that? It looks like, it looks well, like a, a wood log, but I know that's Yeah, not maybe it's a woodfall or something. The one the, the Let's like look right at in the middle it. at the top? Yeah. Do you see it, Jim? Yes. Uh, yes. Sorry, I'm so. You're stalking on the clops? On the side yeah, clops? Oh, I don't want to. Get it? Side on clops? It. I'd rather There's not something get on it. top there, too, huh? <laughs> I'm going up above it. <laughs> nice. Thanks. <laughs> All right, there we go. I just need acknowledgement oh, sometimes. That? You're right, Jane. That view from Atalanta from above Hercules is just remarkable. Isn't yeah, it? it's really cool. It's another Tritopleura sponge in the back there that's alive. <laughs> and a number of dead ones. Okay, sorry. Uh, what did you... There was like a, it's a right wrinkly little log. at the bottom of the screen. Can yeah. you look at the main clops right here? Yep. It's that weakly one in okay. the middle. Looks like another prime location. A lot going on up here. Oh. Like, it looks like it could be a clue of some sort, you know? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's a papyrus scroll. Dear reader, and it's in English <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Read in a British accent. I can't do that. It's almost <laughs> like covered in. That's my internal. Well, voice. now it's off screen, but whatever that British debris accent. was that we were looking at, it was like covered in some dark material. Do we determine that that was just Dear more dead sponge? We're gonna poke like it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> It's been brought to my attention. Uh. Oops, here we go. Did you want to pick this thing up? Is yeah, yeah. I want to uh, see if we can figure out what it is. I got a quick question about the stereo cam, about the the triclops. Is the feed the feed we're getting like overlapped of all three of them, or just the center? I think that's just the center. Oh, okay. Then. Confirmed, yeah. yep. The, the stereo cams are not visible right now. It was uh, unhappy when I tried to overlay them all on top of each other. Uh, mm -hmm. Womp womp. What you looking at? This guy right there. Oh, yeah. Tiny coral. You got it? Are you, are you bouncing? Bouncing. We can inquire uh, Careful, there's a thing there. after this. To the right, uh, to the left of you. Yeah, I'm I'm getting some questions. Possibly a bone. Yeah, like I had thought that, but it, wanna I get really want to poke it and look zoom? at it. Yeah. <laughs> wanna um, focus and um, zoom. Sure. Yep. Zoom. Let's zoom yeah, in on there. Yeah. Start with a zoom, I guess. It could be. It looks more woody. Move the cam. It does. Looks, Can you move the cam? Looks wood folly. Everyone's all excited about bones after all the bones we found on the last one. Oh man, it's really hard to Ooh, tell. Oh, an ophiroid. Yeah. What, what is this thing? This is suspicious. Yo, he's waving. Hey, bud. <laughs> it's waving. I don't know. Could we look at the end of it? Which end? The right end, where it's kind of like exposed towards us a little. Right there. Yeah, that looks. We zoom way in. It does looks like wood. Hmm. hmm. Is that common could we, the steps? Could we squeeze it? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to our? Uh, Can we zoom out, please? Do we have like a proking probe? A probe, probing stick, <laughs> pokey <laughs> stick. I think that oh, was like a temperature really probe or something yeah. that was is it a brittle star being used brittle? inappropriately. Yes, it yes. is. Okay. Um, okay, you're locked I in the think place. We're uh, within reach. Let's see. We're on quite a slope. So hold on, let me. Oh yeah, don't we're totally within reach. No, us. we're totally within reach. Look at that. All right, this is a good question. While we're talking about the RV Although pilots, although we might having trouble get the arm out. Do they get time to practice on the equipment before the dives? You see? The pilots? Yeah, they're busy right now. Um. Yes and no. Uh, when I was training, I definitely got to use the vehicle as much as I wanted when it was in the shop. Um, but we tend not to overuse it because overuse leads to problems. So it's kind of, there's yeah. a fine line there. It's like you want to practice, practice makes perfect, but you don't want to Yeah, you don't want to break the machine because <laughs> it's really expensive. So. Yes. Um, okay, let's. Boom, there it is. Currently at 2,027 meters, testing something that we found. Oh. Oh, is it cemented? No, I'm, uh, oh. I just, I poked the rock and I moved the um, vehicle. Oh, if you okay. want, you can come up. Come up a bit and then like, you can just kind of push it if you have it closed and locked. If you have the, the grip closed. So it's just like a, like a like you're just poking it like with like a finger or something like that. You don't just have to have it out. Oh. Oh, you just go grab it. Oh, oh. Just crush it. oh it this broke. is very oh. interesting. It's not gonna. It's very, very interesting indeed. Um, well, maybe we could look at the fresh inside if there's a way to like put it down so we can. Does the I don't know if Herc has like a blow away. Let the dust feature. settle a little bit. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah, I was expecting more like a 
I almost thought, I thought it was going to be hard. Do something like this, you know. What do you think it sounded like? Was it a, like a crunch? <laughs> if nobody was there <laughs> to <laughs> hear <laughs> it, did it make a sound at all? Uh, let me analyze the sonar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're imagining it's like super quiet. Meanwhile, Hercules is like... <laughs> <laughs> I tried to turn the grip force down so that I could grab it gently. Uh-huh, so um, it's really delicate, huh? But we're a little too too deep. I need the hydraulic pressure just to close the fingers, so unfortunately I can't do that. That's okay. Is there a way to look at where we just broke it? Does I don't it know in? if it's laying mm -hmm. in a good spot um, for that. I can tilt, push it a little or give something. It a little pull. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Oh no, it's gonna go flying down the hill. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, maybe it really is a piece of a big sponge, but it's such a weird shape, but it was so delicate. Yeah, it doesn't look very like fresh or different in the middle there. Oh, nice that's a angle. good angle. Though. Yeah, that's a perfect yeah. angle if we could zoom on it like that. Zoom away. Get to see some of the patterns in the rock too. Ooh, it's hollow. Is it hollow? Yeah. Whoa. Uh, maybe, <laughs> wait a minute. There I think that looks like an that. encrusted sponge. We should take a piece of that if we if we think we could grab it. I know it's, mm. and it looks, that was a hard thing that we, it didn't work the first time. Uh, um, maybe if we could like even slurp you, a chunk of it, like smush and slurp. check to see if you can grip lock it halfway? Does this thing, um, rather than all the way? Does this arm have position mode for the jaw? I want to say... I want to say, I know ours does, but hmm. it's a different layout. It's a yeah, it's a different master. Uh, Sorry, I'm new. Uh, <laughs> okay. Looks like that ophiroid is escaping. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh. Do you think you'd be like a? S where were we? I'm assuming we would wa probably want it like in the forward or something. Yeah. Like that. Let's just grip lock. Oh no, we can't. We don't have the flexibility with the hose no more. I was gonna say we could hose it. Uh, I was thinking we could smush and slurp, but ooh, oh, ooh, ooh. But squish and slurp. Smush, oh. like you know, like. Oh yeah, we could do that. Maybe but I don't know if the hose gets that far out or kind of far. Oh uh, yes, apparently. Uh, Trevor said you can like anywhere the arm will reach. Uh, can we zoom you out, can please? See a pattern there. Yeah, yeah, I think it's that's why I think it's a sponge actually, yeah. and it's so hollow. It looks like s some of the sponges mm -hmm. we were seeing earlier. You want me to just take the suction sampler and poke it? Yeah, um, yeah like you can like, like try and just kinda suck kinda some of it up. I mean, the best option there. is yeah. to get a big chunk unbroken uh, with the manip, but if that if there's no okay. way to do that, then that's the best alternative. Yeah. There's also the scoop. I we could scoop. I'm pretty sure there is a way. The scoop is a net, though, so it's a one-time thing. I won't be able to get That's it out true. of there. That's true. Yeah, I think there is a it's way. not that I'm saying we shouldn't use it. I'm yeah. Just yeah, it just wants to close, huh? Um, give me a second. Seeing if I can hold this like that and then grip lock. What does that do? Oh, we might be able to do this. Yeah, let's, let's it's working. It. Awesome. It's worth a try. Get the other one. Got a couple pieces yeah, to try we'll do on here. Okay. <laughs> Let me. Uh, this is of interest because it looks encrusted. So. It would be very cool to get a piece of a sponge that also had ferramine gnees crust on it. Um, can you you want to rotate the? Uh, that even has a bonus so a sponge on better. it. This is in line with the question we got earlier. Why not take a sample of one of the dead sponges to try to figure out the cause of death? So maybe we'll get more information. Let's go. Ahead, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you can. You want to rotate the the cl the claw, so you can see yeah, can where see you see it better. Yeah, so you can see where idea. you need to stop. And then you could try the grip lock thing again. Oh, grip lock, there we go. Okay. 
I've got to say, this reminds me a little bit of the arcade games where you have to try oh, and yeah, <laughs> the go claw down game. And grab. <laughs> it feels like that, except the Worse. claw's not underpowered. It's crazy <laughs> overpowered. <laughs> And then I saw one recently where they back. were like yeah, hanging someone by one, and uh, then nope. the person was like grabbing oh, as much yep. as they could. Oh, there. Grip it. So oh, much fun oh, we had. I had it. We're gonna get this. You're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. This is just an exercise. I'm stubborn, and I think it's possible, so we're gonna. Good. <laughs> stubborn is good when taking samples. Oh yeah, that might be the arm. Michael, is the DC ground fault on Herc the arm? Is that yes. the craft? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, that should be locked. Oh. Why yeah. is it? Why is it? No. It, it's locked. That's not me. That's okay. Uh, no, so this it's is just not going to work. Okay. I can't. Okay, then I our options are can't reliably either do it, no. slurping up the bits we've broken. Uh, Oh, slurp that. Oh. oh. It's like stuck that's in the great. claw. Oh, that's gross. All right, well, want to open the wild box? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I just want to, like, pick it off. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to get it out. <laughs> what are we doing? Um, we can try and... S I think Let's try and slurp up, up the pieces yeah. that we've broken here. Yeah. Was there a stocked sponge on part of it? Uh, yeah, that, that chunk we just picked up did have a small stocked sponge on it. <laughs> oh, it's got a piece in the claw. Yeah. Are you trying to shake it can off? Is that what you No, you're I'm... I'm can you scrape in the... I'm going to try and scrape it into the suction sample. Oh, yeah. cool. Uh, okay, so let me... Wham. Oh. Sorry. No, that's okay. I just wasn't expecting it. I thought something went wrong there for a sec. Um, wh wh which one do we want to try to put these in? The slurp. Oh, sorry, two. Again. Okay. Slurping. Let me know when it's on. It's on. Okay. Get in there. It's probably quite there. brittle, so it has to be small. Yeah. Right, hold on. Is it clogging? Hmm. Just a go right few in? small chunks. Did it totally disintegrate? Oh, no, it's a decent oh, chunk. There's one in there, yeah. That's okay. Cool. If we could try and slurp a couple more of the ones we broke, that'd be sweet. You want to do a couple more? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Sorry. I just uh, I have okay. a tendency not to blink when I'm concentrating. <laughs> You're like, gotta, I'm like gotta crying. re wet the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You want it all in the same? Yeah. And somewhere in there, you can add, like estimate the number of pieces that we get. In I the think there's like three right sample. now. One big one, medium sized one, and like a teeny tiny bitty. And I also, if we try and if we sample in multiple ways, I try and get pictures of like each of the ways that we sampled it, so we can tell a story of how it was collected. <laughs> okay. Is this thing on right now? No, brilliant. It is not, no. Anywhere the arm can go. Oh, 
Oh no. Did the did some of that material just fall back out? Huh? I don't think so. This No, yeah, I think I think we got our one chunk in there. I mean, if there very well could be some like traps because there's like a an up in the like a like a toilet trap type deal. And it comes out when uh when we bring out the hose. So. Will that clear up when you bring Hercules back on board? Um, sometimes, sometimes not. Yeah. I mean, draining it out is one of the checks that we do. Uh, yeah, vacuuming the seafloor. So we don't okay. have to. No, nothing. We'll turn that on. Turning it on. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh. no. Nope. Snappy. Wow, that was pretty powerful. Um. Stand by. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get us a little closer. Okay. Just a little closer. Don't like where the arm is. Why is Trevor still awake? <laughs> Trevor, go to bed. I know, eh? Hey, turn it on <laughs> as well. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be here for a bit. So we don't think this is bone. I think it might be. Don't think it's what? Bone. No, I think it's a sponge. It's a yeah. it's an encrusted sponge similar to the ones we were looking at earlier that are have are like kind of hollow and then had that really mm. delicate uh like What does it mean to be sugar encrusted? art looking top? What does it mean to be encrusted? Um it means that it's been sitting there for long enough that mm. iron and manganese mostly probably have uh accumulated Absor uh, adsorbed onto the skeleton. Cool. <laughs> like all the rocks that are, are under it that are totally covered in crust, but less less uh, time. Good, 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 good. That's so metal. <laughs> Did you say that's so metal? <laughs> I thought we didn't have enough dad jokes on yeah, our ship, so yeah. I had to compete with Add Rob. another one. I don't know if that's like that. Okay. <laughs> the width on these jaws is hilarious. I've never seen anything like it. The right. width? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these are huge. Yeah, I, I don't like, I don't know what it is. Shoot, like, I've never had them that wide before. And, like, so re slow responsing. Yeah, like, that's so slow. Yeah. Not slow to open though. And it really doesn't want to grab that puck. Yeah. Yeah. You it's can like just like lock it. You should be able to just lock it once you grab it. Okay. You wanna turn it on? Yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> Back to the vacuuming. Yeah, so any of those pieces are great. One, nope. One yeah. Those Get are the, all we bits. We also got a bubble yeah. right here if you need it. Oh, uh -oh. it's like, oh, chunk. Sideways. Yeah. 
Come on, buddy. Two. This one's pretty hard, so if turning up the suction helps, it's not going to damage it, I don't think. Bump, bump. There we go. And squish. <laughs> there we go. We still only have one or yeah, two in the actual slurp bottle, the jar, rather. Might need to do some hose stretches. You can do that. Oh, that Couple one came small out. Ones. There they go. Oh, yeah, they're coming through. Hand cramp. Shoulder, actually. Shoulder cramp. Knees and toes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh, stretch out the hose. Do you think there's some caught in it? Uh, I, another piece came through now, but I feel like we've had more than two. But we can also stretch at the end. It'd be good to get a couple more pieces. Sure. just reminding me of those times when I vacuumed like my entire house and then realized that it wasn't actually working, wasn't sucking anything up. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> you so your back. house must be really clean if there was nothing to notice I'm wasn't like, oh, being sucked up. I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> just realized the thing has been off the entire time. I just realized I was wondering why it was so quiet. Vacuum before me. <laughs> it's hard to work when I'm laughing. Uh, okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Serious. Everyone be not funny. Come on, get the buck. That's a lot not going through the filter. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's true. It's like a snow globe. Uh, yeah, I was just it's about to say that. It's because we have that, that fine like mesh on. Yeah, it looks like you're, yeah, I think we do have a fine mesh. We own everything, yeah. yeah, yeah so it's exactly, yep, nothing's yep. getting through. He ain't going nowhere. Nice. Ooh, fish. There we go. Ooh. Is that a shrimp? Is that a shrimp? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Oh, I'm waiting. That's a shrimp. Let's go to the board. Number 13. Oh, yeah, you were like, we're going for the big. <laughs> big going for 20. I, I said the big 2-0, and now we're only at 13. <laughs> we're seven short. Let's abandon all of this and just go look for shrimp. <laughs> Oh, my grip lock is smashing yeah. everything. I like the approach. There we go. There we go. A few more there. That's good. Oh, that's Three, a big, that's a, that's a rock. No, Hercules. No, stay here. Well, we've got no, you like five or six off pieces off. in there now. You think five or six? Uh, yeah. I'm kind of trying to count them all they pieces. swirl around. Maybe more than that, actually. Oh, that looks like a stock. Oh, what is that? That's one of the stocks that we Yeah. Done. The one that we looked at, like, <laughs> you know, a <laughs> while back. I just keep thinking it's like a spine or something. It looks like a I know, bone. they're cool. We can, uh, we can call it at that. Yes, please. <laughs> now the slurp wants to stay out. Okay, so I would submit that sample if you hadn't already. Sweet, Denzo. And that sample oh. number... Oh, oh, six. Oh, there's, looks six. like there's one floating there, so you the got like quite another. a bit. I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> Sad, droopy slurp. I just see the other, another sponge that has yeah, the, the same... Um, looks like sand in one side only. Like Ah, uh, that really yeah. had it again. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah can note that that tree to pleura sponge also was sedimented on one side. Nice. nice. Almost. The one seen earlier? It's probably one of the wonderful uh, things about being yeah, on the boat. We, you don't have to vacuum. We them. passed over it just now. Oh, sorry, I missed. That's okay. Sorry if you guys were talking to me. I was. No, no, we nope. weren't. You're good. It's okay. I was just talking about vacuuming. <laughs> okay. Let's
let's get back on track here. Whoa. Is that frozen on purpose? No. Tim, your camera's frozen. I don't know, did I do that? <laughs> There's a big tree to plur on the left. Yeah, please. Thank you. You're two breaths ahead of me. We kind of passed over a little cliff a second ago. Yeah. Yeah, definitely ascending more rapidly now. So many stocks. Um, yes, I think we're gonna continue on here unless we wanna look no. at this. Or ready, ready back here. Okay, yeah, then let's, let's Ooh, this, this coral, sorry, we do need to look yeah. at this coral. We're not, we're not gonna collect <laughs> it, but it is the first we have seen of this. And we see a living, a living um, frayed sponge, like all those dead ones we've been seeing, but alive. Mm. Actually, all three of the things right here are very interesting. <laughs> all right, well, let's we start on the left. Sure. That is a cool sponge with the threads on the bottom there. You can zoom in if you'd like. Oh, there's three sponges, or there's yeah. two sponges. Two there, sponges, right? yeah. yeah. So that looks almost like, I mean, I Pepper. don't know, a strange polyopagon or something, some kind of. Uh, we got we got some help on the way. Uh, she's. Looking at the coral. Uh -oh. Yeah, sh the pink one. Yeah, but we uh, we will look at that Asako. We are interested also. That's kind of cool. What was the term you used for the sponge, Leela? I don't know if it's actually a polyopagon, but um, in in that group potentially. Let me know when you want to switch to the next one. Uh, as soon as we get a good shot of that one. Yeah, we can switch to the next one. Polyapodon, you said? A-P-O... Uh, poly... A-P-A... Uh, P-O-L-I-O-P-O-G-O-N. If we could zoom on the pink coral next. Go for it. Does it have associates? Like it yeah. Yeah, a snake star associate. It's probably hemichoralium. I'll drop the craft valve. Sorry? The valve. Oh. I got That's it. beautiful. I got it, I got it. Yeah, yeah thank looks you. like hemichoralium. It's not not bumpy enough to be a uh, bubblegum coral. Is it because Asako, it tastes do you like agree? Bubblegum? Hemichoralium. Is that uh, something inside it, or is that? It's a snake star. Snake star. I love that term. Cool. It's possible to zoom a little bit more. Are yeah, if we could look yeah, at the polyps a little as much more. As you want. I'll try to. Are they wrapped around the branches? Uh huh. Yeah, these you'll often see that. Yep, Asako agrees, hemichoralium. But are they feeding off of the coral or just wrapped around it? Um, they're not eating the coral. I think that they're just using the coral to get higher up. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it is really beautiful. Looks like he's trying. Okay, trapped. and let's look at the sponge behind, which is a frayed. Is this the living of the one? Yes. That we, yeah. It is. Yeah. It is finally a living version. Like, yes, I recognized it. I Much bigger than the ones we saw. Like down, huh? Yeah. 
And so this is for a spidoscope hulia. Cool. Oh, I just added uh, something to, the, all to good. that effect. Cool. These images don't seem to be coming through automatically. Hmm. No, maybe they just take a moment. I think they just take a second, but that's good to keep an eye out for. Looks like multiple tubes all over the place. Oops. Yeah, they're kind of like frilly, and then some of the frills, like, they circle all the way around. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of like, like tubular along that side. Looks it's like an aorta. Totally <laughs> tubular. Totally tubular. And then there's another one of those anemones in the back. The actino... Uh, uh, still lids. Do you want to go look at that too? Oh, that's okay. We know what that one is. All good here then. We okay. uh, can continue moving. <laughs> there just had to be so much exciting stuff. We are at 2,010 meters. Wow. <laughs> We've gone not very far <laughs> in the last far. hour. <laughs> We've seen a lot. But it's been very productive. Very fun. This is almost lobes of rock mm -hmm. on the right. I think that's another Saco Calyx. Ooh. Tall one. Yeah, these can get mm -hmm. bigger. We've been seeing a lot of these smaller ones. But actually, this one should be 30 centimeters tall. It's a small coral behind it. Or something dead. Yeah, I hear you mean. Mm -hmm. Will fish eat the sponges? Do we want to take a close good look question. at this? Or we keep Not going? That I'm, we're good to keep going. Okay. We got time because you're also ahead of me. Oh, okay. So maybe we just take a look oh, at this thing because it's yeah. cool. Yeah, plenty of time. Oh, sorry. You're like really ahead. Yeah, if we could peek at that. Did you say that we're ahead or behind? We're a little bit ahead, so we got some time. Okay, yeah, to sweet. If we could look at that coral there. Yeah. This one doesn't have a little. What'd like you call it? Star. It wasn't a starfish. Was I was thinking Metallogorgia, but actually it's more of a spherical tuft than a flat tuft. And there's a squat lobster in it. Uh oh. Yeah. Paula. <laughs> you can zoom in there as much as you'd like. I want to learn about squat lobsters from Paula. She also has some exercise moves that she calls squat, squat lobster. lobster. Yeah, <laughs> that's an exercise move. I yeah. love that. <laughs> she has a whole workout plan for us in the evening. <laughs> that's awesome. It's a workout move. <laughs> it's also a terrible song. <laughs> they oh, think it rock oh, lobster. Rock lobster. lobster. Sorry. That's oh, one of my favorite B fifty two songs. Oh God. Looks like oh, All right, somebody's gonna sing it. I don't know it. <laughs> rock lobster. <laughs> Is this coral oki? <laughs> yes. Coral oki. Could we it zoom a little? Time. <laughs> Could we zoom, zoom a little further, please? As much as you'd like. Yeah. Go for it. The last hour of our watch is reserved for coral oki. <laughs> coral oki. <laughs> oh man. Just Are we gonna have a coral oki on it? Ooh, what's in there? Is there what something is in, in there? there? There's a squat lobster in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you talk about Yeah, sorry, what? we just talked about <laughs> <laughs> That is what this whole conversation has been about. I'm <laughs> very distracted <laughs> by the singing. <laughs> Cause it's three in Did the we morning. get any steady shots of the squatty? Oh, there we go. Not quite. That's That's such a beautiful Almost. Tree. Right on that ridge. There we go. Seems like we were seeing a lot we of pan pinks. up just here.
Oh. I think this is Chrysogorgia flavicens. Huh. I concur. <laughs> I'll write it in for this one. Then I concur. Chrysogorgia flavicens. Let me see how you spelled that. Flavicens. I was just adding it as a note to the. Oh, yeah. So tell us a little bit more about squat lobsters. What do they eat? Oh, don't ask me about squat lobsters. Oh. We, need, we need Paula here. Yeah, oh. we might need okay. the 8 to 12. It seems like they're always using the corals, though, to get higher up to grab things okay. that pass by. But um, so yeah, I don't know if the like bristles on their arms are helpful for capturing things. or. Yeah. We'll we have, have a note that there might be a metallogorgia and bamboo to the right. Out of frame? Is it out of frame? Uh, I don't think so. Not necessarily. Just maybe those two things just right next to it. I'm not sure. Um, oh, yeah. She's looking at that there, maybe. I think right. that's the bamboo. It's hard to say, Asaku, yeah, from the angle we have, if that's a metallogorgia. It doesn't seem like as flat you when you, you like. get to a different side of it, but um, totally could be. All right, we're almost breaking 2,000 meters of the unnamed gear um, north of Johnson Atoll. That does look Ooh, like oh, a jellyfish. bamboo. Mm. And, and a, a shrimp. shrimp. Yay, good yeah. for shrimp. <laughs> okay, that's a bamboo coral. A dollar in the jar. Number 14. That looks cool. Look at those zooms. Ooh. Yeah. That's good there. We can continue. We All right. Nice. We have lived life. Cool. Did you just grant life to that coral? I said we <laughs> have we have lived life. Oh, I thought you were saying like you may you may live on. We're not collecting you today. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say those words. <laughs> okay, continuing south. Here we go. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, look at it. Yeah. Oh, oh, We're getting into cool stuff, people. Yeah. Of course, it's like Hit the 2,000 mark. We're going to hit like a... Uh, I know, watch change, and we're going to hand it over. And then we're not going to win. Looks like, like we have some more <laughs> of those. <laughs> it's I think that's change. another Flavicens <laughs> um, Chrysogorgia over here. That's cool. Yeah. Because it looks uh -huh. just like a little tuft. Yeah, it looks exactly Metallogorgia the same. is like flat, kind of like an umbrella, but this looks like a tuft. Another squat like lobster in it, too. Yeah, right it does there look like is a sponge. It. Yeah, it does what's look like the same associate. Yeah, what's our friend in the middle? That's very interesting. This is a dead a dead sponge with something growing on the top. Oh, again. that actually looks like pink. Like yeah. same as the last stock that we like saw. Like those pink polyps we yeah, just saw. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, that sucks, because that looks like very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, it's death. <laughs> uh, if we could alive, zoom real quick big. just on this again, just so we can have a record yeah, if um, that's the same. Actually, stream. just hold on a sec. Can we sure. zoom out? Um, just kidding. What is all the black? I'm just going to uh, sit on nicely here on this, on these rocks, really and then we can get some good zooms. Can't really call that epiphytes if it's not phytic material. So it would be a zoantis or something like that, but I don't think, because it is the map. Yeah, yeah. right there. You just push down. Yeah, it could be zoantis. Push down, push but forward. Yeah. There you go. Okay, zoom away. Zoom, zoom. So we're right about at 2,000 meters, 6,561 feet approximately. Is that another squat lobster? Yep. Hey, Issa, were they saying the other day that squat lobsters are, like some species are very particular associates of Coral species? Yeah. Or is that something? Yeah, they, they could be. I just heard. Uh, there is no much uh, research about, but um, definitely could be. But they're very hard to identify. So, by picture, you have to collect. Otherwise, I think there is only one or two species that without you collect, you can identify. So, sometimes to do. Um, 